Okay. Um, so that's our, this one needs our, uh, more, uh, we'll say that our express, uh, explaining that our, uh, our, uh, the current situation and, uh, the next plan to our, to fixing, uh, we'll say that our, the, uh, clean up actually that the, uh, the kernel code. So, uh, the unifying that the return hooks. So. I think that the data is our old one. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, so uh, actually, that our, uh, this one needs our, uh, uh, there are uh, many uh, function return hooks uh, in a kernel, Linux kernel. Uh, actually, that are, there are three different, uh, let's say that are uh, probes or tracers are using that are the return hook. Uh, the return hook means that the kernel uh, function return. So that are something like a uh, uh, query function, uh, we'll say that are chain that are um, the return address. And uh, uh, so that the call back, uh, we'll say return back to the uh, some other trampoline area. And uh, the trampoline callback, uh, we'll say that are a user uh, handlers or something like that. And uh, uh, return back to the real uh, uh, function caller. So uh, for uh, changing this, uh, say, making this for this, uh, we need a uh, say shadow stack, not a real stack, because that the real stack already uh, changed that the uh, uh, real return address. So that the real return address with the uh, say trampoline address. So that the, we need to uh, save that the, the real, real return address to the uh, shadow stack. So. And the shadow stack is uh, something like, a, uh, we'll say that the, as I said, that the storing, that the, the real return address, and uh, also or, uh, who uh, made it. And okay, I will skip that anyway. Oops. Okay, so uh, uh, let me explain that the, the uh, old plan. So that uh, we have our, uh, what's a different uh, shadow stack and also our trampolines inside the kernel to uh, doing that, this, uh, what's a, that the for same, uh, what's a, our purpose. So uh, uh, previously, we only have our K probes, carrot probes, and uh, uh, function graph tracer. So that are, uh, there are uh, only two uh, different, uh, let's say, trampolines. And uh, uh, my old uh, plan is to uh, introduce that uh, some more intermediate uh, red hook uh, layer and uh, switch that. Uh, however, that uh, doesn't work uh, when I uh, check that. So that are the current red hook, I, introduced that the red hook, but uh, only for that is only for uh, adding that uh, the another trampoline <laughs> finally. So that are, uh, and, and uh, I also introduced a new uh, probe, F probe, uh, based on uh, what's it, based on the uh, F trace and red hook. Uh, but um, this one is uh, making uh, uh, things very uh, complicated. Um, so that uh, there are many uh, uh, return hooks and uh, uh, shadow stacks. So I do, would like, uh, currently I'm uh, trying to, uh, let's say, fixing that the F probe part because that our F probe, uh, let's say, oh, previously we are using that the F probe uh, to uh, provide that the uh, PT uh, register interface, but that is uh, uh, not possible uh, to uh, provide that uh, on the um, ARM64. So that are uh, currently only uh, we only implement that uh, the F probe only on the x86 64. So uh, currently uh, now I'm uh, trying to uh, put. Uh, move that the F probe itself on the F graph, function graph tracer. So that the F, uh, what's it, function entry and the exit hooking uh, mechanism is, uh, what's it, are, uh, what's it, unified, uh, integrated to the uh, function graph tracer. 
and uh, shadows only using that the uh, function graph tracers, shadow stack, and the trampoline. But uh, for the backward compatibility, uh, I'm yeah, uh, currently, uh, what's it that are uh, the red hook and the carrot probes and red hook trampolines, uh, those are uh, still exist on the, the kernel, but. Actually, that the, those are the same uh, providing that the same functionality, uh, hooking that the the uh, say that the function return, and uh, say that the get the the event. So uh, I I'm uh, currently uh, say that the uh, F probe has a carrot probe event, but uh, that is only uh, say that the, the how I say that the, the difference is uh, uh, able to access that the some registers, but uh, we don't need that because that are, uh, what we need is uh, to access that the uh, return address and uh, return uh, value or something like that. That is uh, already uh, was provided by the F probe uh, exit handler. So that are um, uh, I'm, afterwards I will uh, move that uh, remove that the the K red probe event itself so that the only uh, k probes uh, uh, will be your uh, what's uh, will be remained in the kernel uh, just for the uh, backward compatibility but uh, I would like to remove that too uh, so that are uh, if there is some or any any what's say out of tree uh, carrot probe user, I would like to recommend you uh, them to move on to the F probe. Yeah. Then uh, we can uh, remove that there, those are uh, function. Uh, what say that are the shadow stacks and uh, also trampolines and clean up that are the code like this. Yeah. Uh, here is uh, the ring list. So, uh, oh, actually, that are, yeah, uh, the discussion point. I think that the discussion point is uh, uh, should we or uh, what's it proceed that the, this screen up or uh, what's it that are, do you need uh, to keep that uh, this uh, current, uh, what's it that are, uh, cabinet probe things? In the kernel, well, well, I I've been all for the merge and get and clean up stuff and have as much reuse of code as possible. So that's all there, stand up. <laughs> so, uh, um, so I mean, actually, we've been work work talking about this so a bit. So we've been discussing this. Uh, anyone else have any comments about yes. this? Absolutely love to delete K rep. Sorry, hello. Sorry, I would absolutely love to delete K rep probe from ARM sixty four. So yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> So first of all, I'm going to ask the general question to the audience if you actually even understand what's going on here. So one thing is, um, so a real quick recap, just in case, is the fact that function graph tracer that you're probably familiar with, where it traces both the beginning and the end of the trace, uh, uses a shadow stack. The way it does it is on entry, it will take the return pointer we would you know, put into the shadow stack and replace it, say, call some trampoline. So when that function that we're tracing returns, instead of returning back to the caller of the function, it returns back to our trampoline that does the tracing of the exit of the call. K rep probes does basically the exact same thing, but with a completely different mechanism that basically you have to pre-allocate stuff to say, okay, I can have so many uh, reserve it because it has to reserve the uh, shadow stack caller. So it's not generic. It's a little. I mean, it's and it's also architecture specific, very much so from you know architecture architecture because it is emulating. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we um, the idea is basically say, hey, function graph tracer just does it for you. The way function graph tracer does it is uh, when we enable function graph tracing, it will actually go through and make every single task in the kernel, whether it's running or not, and allocate a shadow stack for it. So usually it's like a one or one page shadow stack and that's every task will have that. So it's almost always used and you could actually overflow the shadow stack in which case you'll lose events. But honestly, I have that recorded and I've yet to see it. So, so far it hasn't happened. It's in potentially it could because it's a limited resource, but, and you can have a code path that could do something that's probably bad and probably crash the kernel anyway, because the normal stack is a limited resource. Um, so that's what we've been doing and we're working on it. So. 
Yeah. So those are actually that are there is a uh, shadows that uh, implementation differences. So that are uh, as uh, Steam said that are the trace uh, was it the per uh, per task or per was it uh, probe and and uh, per probe case uh, we call it that the global probe uh, red uh, was it that the red hook is using that that, that needs uh, you know um, pre allocate that the, their object. Shadow stack object because that is a shadow. In that case, that the shadow stack is a, something like an object list for the, uh, each task. Um, but uh, sometimes uh, objects uh, or say uh, will be a uh, shortage, uh, become a shortage, and so that are, uh, uh, user need to uh, carefully set that the, the maximum uh, number of the, the object or something like that. That will, uh, I'll say, uh, need you. Uh, that mean that uh, you need to tune that. But uh, until running that uh, the trace, you may not uh, know that uh, how many how many objects you need. And so I also want to point out something because I have those patches. I think uh, for, maybe you've used it before. The one the patches that right now function graph tracer as it is today can only allow one one use case. One use. Yeah. Uh, to trace it. Reason why the function tracing has that minimum stack, and if you start adding multiple users, you have to like, okay, whose stack is who? And you know, when you call into a function, you have to trace the return back. You have to remember, okay, here's a guy. Uh, someone registered and said, I want to, you know, trace the beginning and end of a function. Say if you have five of them that do this, five users that say, I want to uh, trace the beginning and end of the function. And you can also say, well, this user wants these functions, this user wants these functions, and you got all these like band diagrams of the kernel of what functions are being traced. And then in the middle of it, one of the tracers says, I'm done, I'm remove me. Now you have a callback that returns back and says, oh, I want to trace someone. Now you have to watch out for the race condition of saying, okay, this guy we traced, but he stopped, he removed himself, and someone else came in and said, oh, I want to trace this function. And now how do you know which function or which callback do you do? So we have some really crazy code to do yeah. all that because we actually now put in this information within that shadow stack. So now we might have to grow the shadow stack yeah. to hold this information because the shadow stack not only is holding one callback, but now every callback who registers to the function graph tracer now has to have its own. That's where the probe thing was kind of an advantage of. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'd like, well, we can end early if no one else has any questions or... And I guess the one call thing is anyone using K rep probes out of tree? <laughs> uh, are there any or uh, oh yeah. so here <laughs> he per he perked up. Stand up. Yeah. Well, okay, so so no, I, I'm not a, a user per se because I'm out of tree and I don't exist. Uh, but I do use K rep probe in LTTNG module to hook on function entry and return. Uh, don't mind to adapt to anything that allows out of tree kernel modules to connect to it. I mean, the kernel changes, I adapt. That's fine. Okay, we will. Uh, so basically, maybe we start CCing you on these changes so you're aware of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I was just going to ask your reason, what was your reason for using K rep probes as opposed to the function graph tracer? Was it just it was easier to use because? In that case, F probes can do the same thing, right? Oh, he was here. Anyone else? Oh, oh. I use K rep probes like through perf, uh, not obviously not in, in kernel use case, but I use it over function graph because then I can get variables uh, with perf. You can get use dwarf, get debug info to get variables. So sometimes useful. Okay. Yeah, I think that are, the perf can are, uh, also change that the, to use that uh, F proof. Yeah. yeah. Well, it has to be. That's that's, yeah. a, that's yeah. definitely an entry thing. We'll make sure LTTNG still works. Uh, we're not going to try to break anyone. In fact, actually, that was a call here. Is you know who's using this? You better be aware that there, things are going to be changing. So, I mean, from my perspective, as long as the tracer can register itself as a consumer of the instrumentation, along with its context pointer to be passed along. That's fine. I have every, everything I need. Okay. Uh, is it possible just to remain the k return proof ABI interface as is, but just 
change the implementation? Actually, that, uh, that is uh, <laughs> not possible. <laughs> Yeah. Reasons that we want to get rid of, that I want to get rid of it, is on ARM64 because KREPROS takes PT regs rather than FTRACE regs. That's the main difference. Everything else with FPROBE will look basically the same as KREPROBE. K -probe, sorry. Um, the issue is on ARM64, there are a ton of things in PT regs that we only get at exception boundaries. So when we take an interrupt or break it on, we cannot sorry. we cannot synthesize it here for for a function called boundary, and it's also just stupidly expensive to do it. And also, if you're looking at your function arguments, return values, that sort of thing, all of that information is already in the ftrace regs. So you, if you have yeah. a use case for other registers in PT regs, it would be interesting to know what that use case is. <laughs> yeah, so that's our, the, yeah, Keret for interface itself has our summer, let's say, uh, need to keep our backward compatibility. But I would like to, uh, yeah, break that. <laughs> Yeah. Have you talked to the system tab folks? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you.